Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Sephora haul to share with y'all. You know how much I love Sephora. So I've got a pretty good sized bag here. Pretty decent amount of products to share with you guys. Uh, mostly makeup, but I do have one skincare product to share with you guys. I love shopping at Sephora, and I know you guys love shopping at Sephora, so let's get into the haul. So the one and only skincare item that I have to share with you guys today is the Kate Somerville Eradicate. And this is one of my all-time favorite skincare products. This is actually a repurchase of mine. I just barely ran out of my last bottle, so I had to pick up another one. This stuff is so amazing. The Eradicate is an acne treatment that has sulfur in it. The bottle looks like this, and what you do is you stick a Q-tip down into the sediment, which is pink down here at the bottom, and then you apply the product to your face just directly to any blemishes that you may have. And it helps to really suck out all the grossness and impurities, and it leaves your skin feeling much more soothed, and the acne is a lot smaller and a lot less red and irritated in the morning. So you sleep with this product on your face, and it really helps to treat and kill your acne. This is one of my all-time favorite skincare products, and this is something that I have to have in my skincare routine. It's definitely a product that will be coming up in my skincare routine video that I plan on posting very soon. If you guys are interested in seeing my skincare routine, definitely give this video a thumbs up so that I know you guys want to see it. Okay, so the first item in here is kind of the star of the show. This is the brand new Smoky Palette from Urban Decay, and I'm sure you guys have seen this all over the interweb. It is the brand new Naked Smoky. This is the fourth addition to the Naked Palettes from Urban Decay Cosmetics, and it is an absolutely gorgeous, neutral, smoky palette. So you've got all neutral shades in here, a little bit of a pop of purple and navy in here, but mostly extremely neutral wearable colors in a little bit of darker shades. And I love that down here we've got four matte shades, got some really good neutral colors up here and some really nice deep rich smoky shades throughout here. I love wearing cool tones and I love wearing smoky eyes, so I'm very, very excited to finally have this product in my collection. I absolutely love of Urban Decay and Naked Palettes are definitely my addiction. So as soon as I heard they were coming out with a new one, of course I already knew I was gonna get it. So obviously I'm pretty pumped about this. I'm super excited to play with it. I have used this on four clients now, I believe. Um, I haven't played with it too much on myself. I've done a couple neutral eyes on myself, but I haven't done anything like super edgy and smoky yet, but I'm so excited. And I love the packaging on this one. It's a lot more sturdy than some of the others. It feels really, really strong. I love the magnetic closure on it, which helps keep it really sealed nice and shut. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. And the fact that it has the huge mirror is just a huge plus. And the brush that comes with this one is really nice as well. This brush has a little tiny like pencil smudger brush at one end and then the other side is kind of like a domed crease brush but I think it would be better for like blending. I don't know if you guys have ever used the Urban Decay brushes before but they are really really good quality and the fact that you get one with the palette is definitely a bonus. One thing that I did think was really weird about this palette though is it doesn't come with like deluxe size samples in it. The first, second, and third all came with a deluxe size primer potion or the little sample packet of primers or back in the day when the original Naked palette came out, it even came with a deluxe size of lip gloss. So I was kind of bummed to see that there wasn't any deluxe size samples in here, but it does come with a sort of pamphlet kind of giving you a guide on how to create smoky eyes with this palette. So if you guys are beginners or if you want sort of a guide to help you create your looks, then that's definitely a handy thing to have. I personally rarely actually look at these things, but it's definitely a little something something. The next product that I was so excited to get my hands on is the Bite Beauty Watercolor Lip Gloss Library. And I absolutely love Bite Beauty products. Bite Beauty is all organic, all their products are really natural. You get a nice anti-aging ingredient in each of their lip products. And the average woman actually consumes seven pounds of lipstick in her life. So gross, I know. But that's why Bite Beauty created a nice organic line that everything's gonna be really good for you. All of the lipsticks are food grade quality. So if you do consume seven pounds of Bite Beauty lipstick, at least you're getting seven pounds of food grade quality. <laughs> so this lip gloss library is so cute. It has 12 shades in here. And these lip glosses are the fruit lip glosses. So they smell and taste super yummy. 
And these colors are super crazy. But all these shades are actually really sheer, so they're very wearable. And the whole philosophy behind the watercolors is that you can kind of customize and mix and match all the shades to create your own lip color, which I think is so much fun. And how cute are these? I love them. I just love sets and kits like this. I think they're such a great way to build up your collection. And this one was actually on clearance for $23.99. So if you guys are wanting to get your hands on it, definitely check out Sephora.com. By Beauty is exclusive to Sephora and I'm sure this product will be going pretty fast. So here's a couple swatches. Here's the yellow, a pink, and a purple. I think these are so much fun and I can't wait to experiment with all the colors. Let me know if you guys would like to see a lip swatching video and I can show you what all the colors look like on my lips. So along with Bite Beauty, I actually picked up a 250 point perk when I checked out. And this is the Bite Limited Edition set. And I had to get this one because it comes with another one of those mini lip glosses. So this kit came with three products in it. The first one is a cute little Bite Mirror. It's just a mirror, something really handy to have in your bag, and then two limited edition colors. So the first one is one of the Luminous Cream Lipsticks, and it's in the shade Bellini. It's this really cute hot pink lipstick, and their lipsticks are so creamy and so luminous and moisturizing on the lips. And then, of course, I had to get it because this cute little lip gloss is the same size as the ones in the set. So I actually have 14 of these little lip glosses now, and I'm gonna put them in a cute little candy jar. And this lip gloss is also in the shade Bellini. So a few Kat Von D products have gone on clearance lately. Kat's working on reformulating her whole line so that all of her products are vegan and cruelty free. So I got my hands on two of her blushes for $11.99. So I picked up Love Song, which is a really pink blush, and I picked up Shady Business 2, which is a bronzer. I love Kat Von D's powder products because they're so long wearing. They're 24 hour wear and they're super creamy and super blendable on the skin. So I thought these two colors were really pretty and I'll show you guys a quick little swatch of these two. Ooh, look at that pigment. That is insane. So this bronzer I'm definitely gonna have to use a light hand with and kind of sheer it out on my skin considering how fair I am. But look how beautiful this bubblegum pink blush is. I love that. Now these blush and bronzer have like a slight iridescence to them, a little bit of a shimmer, but it's more just like a really pretty sheen healthy glow that'll look really nice on the skin. Okay, so I have good news and I have bad news. So the bad news is that OCC or Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics is going to be leaving Sephora stores. Sephora is no longer going to carry the brand. They're still going to be around, but they're not going to be as readily available. The good news is that all their products are being clearanced. So I bought them all. <laughs> Just kidding, I didn't buy them all, but I bought a lot of them. Um, I bought a lot of the lip tars. I haven't really experimented with a ton of OCC products. It's always been kind of a foreign brand to me, but I do really like their lip tars. So I bought a whole bunch of them. I actually bought seven of these guys. So if you guys would like to see a lip swatch video or if you wanna see all the shades that I picked up, then definitely let me know because I definitely have a bunch to share with you guys. Most of the ones I got are pretty pinky, purpley. Um, I did get a little bit of this deeper color here, which is called Strumpet. And I did also pick up the primer, which is just clear. But let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a lip swatch video with all these fun lip tars that I picked up. So here's all the shades that I picked up. I got a nude and a couple of pinks and a couple of purples and a little bit of a deeper berry color. And I didn't get any of the metallic shades. I got the matte formula and the original formula because those two are my favorite. And I'm super excited to play with all of these. The next product that I picked up is a Sephora eyeshadow brush, and this is the Pro Angled Shadow Brush. And if you've ever bought the Sephora brushes before, you've seen these cool little caps that they come with, and these are super convenient for traveling or storing your brushes. But this is just a basic little angled brush. This is just a basic little angled shadow brush. I'm always picking up new brushes at Sephora. As an artist, I like to have a lot of brushes on hand, a lot of different tools. As a makeup artist, I love having a huge variety of makeup brushes, so I'm always picking up new ones. I feel like this brush is gonna be perfect for getting in the outer corner of the eye. 
eye or for even smudging down below or even applying highlight to the brow bone. So I'm super excited about this guy. And then I actually picked up a 100 point perk and this is a little Kat Von D studded lipstick and this one's in the shade Lovecraft. And it's just a really pretty neutral pinky nude color. This color is gonna look good on anybody. And I just live for these little mini lipsticks. Like how cute is that? But I'll show you guys what this color looks like. It's really, really pretty. It's really natural looking. And I just think that would be the most beautiful nude on just about anybody. And it's just so cute and little. I just love all the little mini lipsticks. So this next item is actually a perfume and I actually purchased this one at Kohl's with some Kohl's coupons. But I thought I would throw this in this video to show you guys. This is the Kate Spade Twirl Fragrance. And I just got the cute little one fluid ounce Eau de Parfum. And this is what the bottle looks like. I think it's so cute, so little, and I just love the design on the bottle. I think it's very simple, but it just looks like a cute little Kate Spade party. I love the polka dots and the gold. So this scent is very florally. It smells very like fresh to me and it has a really pretty feminine scent to it. It's definitely more on the sweet side, but it still has a strong floral to it. This scent sort of reminds me of like an orchid scent, something really white and really crisp. So it's definitely got that mature floral scent, but it's not too mature because it has that side of sweetness to it that makes it really girly too. And the last product I wanted to share with you guys are some Michael Kors nail lacquers. And I actually picked these up at Nordstrom Rack, but I was so excited to show y'all because I didn't have any idea that Michael Kors had nail lacquers. And look how pretty these are. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love the packaging of these nail polishes. And Michael Kors is one of my favorite designers. So I was really, really excited when I found these. So this really pretty lilac lavender purple color is in the shade Whisper. And then I picked up a really creamy white pearly color. And this one's in the shade Gossip. And then this periwinkle blue shade is in the shade Fantasy. All right, well, that's it for my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then I hope that you do because I would absolutely love your support. Definitely check out my description box down below. I've got more information about this video as well as my website link, my Instagram, and my Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all in a later video. Bye, guys.